it's not a normal train it's just um Unusual. You saw what it was, didn't you? The old-fashioned Pullmans that used to be pulled by the steamers. I set this project up nine years ago. I got sick to death of walking to and from a long Highland Terrace and seeing this, I'm sorry to say, an eyesore. It needed care and attention. It had been neglected. And when you think it's in the heart of our community. So I basically thought, well, I could do something here. I didn't quite know what. So I popped down to see the station manager at Balspar and said, you know, if you'll support me and um, allow me, I will start doing something down here to improve the look of it. So he then suddenly produced this leaflet and went, look, you can adopt the station. So that's what I've done. I adopted the station and I got two other women who said that they would adopt it with me. And the first thing we did was basically get it together to pick up all the litter, get rid of all the fly tipping. The um, station manager and his um, gang of workers were brilliant and came and helped us because there was masses. And, um, and then I thought, I know, I can remember as a child going up on the trains to Scotland and places and I loved seeing the stations with the name and things spelt out. So I decided I would spell out the name Oldfield Park in plants and that's really how it all started. Of course down here we have absolutely no funding whatsoever. I, I fundraise how and whenever I can. Now a lot of it actually over the years has become donations as regards plants and shrubs and things but we still need good equipment and topsoil and there are things I do raise money and good old Cress Nicholson I spoke with them and they gave us this year £500 which is absolutely brilliant and we've been able to buy topsoil because it's a real rubbish soil here it's full of you know stones and big masses of clay so any plant you put in has to have soil connected with it so it'll grow and also I felt our equipment wasn't really expensive enough to have it it couldn't really last long enough we needed decent equipment so now we've been able to buy decent secateurs, decent uh, shears, and we've bought topsoil, which was desperately needed, especially for the name section. And also, I do like to have the bright colors of annuals. And although there's a lot of sustainable planting here, you need that splash of color. And with their money, we've also bought quite a few plants. Now this, of course, is not your normal sort of, I think, almost gardening project. <laughs> the embankments make it quite a nightmare. You have to be pretty nimble, like a goat almost. Um, obviously, we have to have health and safety briefing first before we can come down here. And you have to be very, very aware. Well, it happens, but you can't have somebody stumbling, can you, and then rolling down. Uh, or damaging their bodies or who knows maybe getting a bit close to those lines there are certain rules the train drivers go by they toot their horn you acknowledge them you must always wear an HV the orange one and uh, you acknowledge them so they know that you are aware of their presence because we get an awful lot of express trains coming through here in fact the variety of trains is unbelievable um, and then, of course, the rest is common sense. We have no water available down here, so we bring it down. Well, I bring mine in my trolley and in bottles of um, in milk bottles. Other people carry it. People now we put out the call. Cool, oh, please bring us some water. Leave it at the gate, and it's brilliant. You arrive at the gate here. And what do you see? Bottles of water and you think, yippee, some more plants can be watered and basically survive. Let's face it, hand watering only keeps these things alive. It does not make them thrive. And so I must be one of the few people who's always saying, oh, please rain. And I'm whooping with delight when it does. <laughs> I must be honest, the community in a lot of ways has really pulled together on this and even people who are not able to come and actually give their time, 
people obviously give donations with other plants people leave the water these people some of them who live in these houses along here they have taken over the responsibility of watering the plants opposite their houses any bit of watering really really helps but we've also had involvement from the various schools because it slightly goes beyond now um, we do lots of litter picks in and around the area so we get Oldfield Park Infant School and the Junior School and uh, the um, Stepping Stones Preschool. It's really nice to have the local community involved and the big thing is having pride in where we live. And I'm a real big believer in that. In fact, my slogan is promoting pride in our community, keeping it cleaner, greener, friendlier. I think that sums me up in a nutshell, actually. <laughs> Now, good old Brian up there, who can I just say is an absolutely amazing, hard-working and committed um, volunteer. He's weeding the name section, which we've done this year in red, white and blue to commemorate the Queen's 90th birthday year. I'm just taking the weeds out, because we <laughs> once you get some rain, the weeds come. So it's been uh, it's quite a busy time, really.